I have particularly liked this story because it speaks about what I would probably do if I were rich, leave all my savings to my dog. In fact, today we talk about the story of Leona Helmsley, an American multimillionaire who left her entire inheritance to her dog trouble. A small Maltese weighing only three kilos or six pounds, if you prefer. But let's start from the beginning. Who was Leona Helmsley and when did she meet trouble? Hello guys and welcome. If you would like to hear more historical gossip, then just click on that subscribe button. Now, let's start today's video. Leona Helmsley was born on July 4th, 1920 and passed away on August 20th, 2007. She was an American businesswoman primarily known for being the wife of Harry Helmsley, a real estate tycoon. Leanna Helmsley achieved success in the business world, becoming known as one of the most influential women in the United States, particularly in the real estate sector. Her wealth and fame were mainly acquired through her real estate investments and entrepreneurial activity. Leona didn't have any biological children, except for one with four legs. Trouble entered Leona's life in 1999, when the dog was already two years old. Before being adopted by Leona in 1999, the Maltese belonged to one of Leona's nephews. Leona took the Maltese from her nephews after the death of her husband Harry in 1997. Initially, Harry had expressed the wish for trouble to be taken care of by one of his nephews. But after his death, Leona changed her mind and decided to take control of the dog, assuming full responsibility for his care and happiness. This decision led to a legal dispute with the nephews regarding the inheritance and the fate of the dog. In the end, Leona obtained custody of trouble and decided to include him in her will, leaving him a considerable sum of money. Upon her death, Leona had indeed decided that the money bequeathed to Trouble would amount to $12 million while her nephews were not included in her inheritance. After Leona's death in 2007, Trouble was entrusted to the care of one of the nephews, who received a bequest of $100,000 to take care of the dog. Upon Leona Helmsley's death, her estate was managed by a group of executors and trustees. Among these trustees was the Helmsley Charitable Trust, an organisation Leona founded for charitable purposes, which received a significant portion of her estate. Additionally, the control of the estate and its activities, including Trouble's share, was entrusted to a group of financial and legal professionals tasked with following the provisions of her will and ensuring that her wishes were properly respected. Despite this, the $12 million inheritance for Trouble was subject to legal disputes and controversies by Leona's nephew. Eventually, the American court entrusted with the case reduced the dog's inheritance from $12 million to $2 million, money allocated for the care of the dog, while the remaining $10 million would go to her nephew. Not long after, in January 2009, it was reported that Trouble had been entrusted to an animal foundation and that the nephew to whom it was initially entrusted would no longer continue to care for the dog. The foundation in question is the same foundation as Leona's, the Helmsley Charitable Trust. Subsequently, it was reported that the custody of trouble had been transferred again, this time to the New York-based the Fidelco Guide Dog Foundation. Fidelco is a non-profit organisation that trains guide dogs for the visually impaired. However, it is not clear whether Trouble received training as a guide dog or if he was simply entrusted to the organisation's care. Ultimately, the foundation announced that Trouble would be transferred to a veterinary clinic due to health issues. The foundation later stated that Trouble had spent the rest of his life under its care and that he passed away in December 2011 at the age of 12 due to natural causes. Are you, like me, wondering how Trouble's life was within the associations he was interested to? If this little heir had at least a serene life after so many misfortunes and the loss of so many reference people, let's remember that dogs don't care about money. All he probably would have wanted was an owner who would take care of him permanently. Well, unfortunately, I haven't found specific information regarding Trouble's life in the different associations. However, from the sources I've found, it's unlikely that a domestic dog-like Trouble would have been kept in a cage for most of the time. 
Charitable organisations that take in animals usually strive to provide them with a comfortable and suitable environment for their needs, which would include attention, physical exercise and social interaction. If instead you're wondering what happened to Trouble's money after his death, that too hasn't been made public, but it's likely that it was used to support the dog's expenses during his life and to fund charitable organisations and animals in need after his death. This story has made me reflect a lot. At times it intrigued me, at times it outraged me. And you guys, what do you think of Trouble's incredible story? Let me know in the comments below.